Hi, my name is Aubrey Jones. I am a theater education major from right here in Searcy, Arkansas, and this is my theater story. My parents are very heavily involved with theater. My dad is a theater professor and has done theater, uh, taught theater all of my life, and my mom graduated with a theater degree from Harding. Um, and so I've been involved with theater from a very young age, uh, primarily watching uh, productions that my parents were either directing or um, they were in. Um, my first show, my first actual show was in seventh grade. Um, I did a lot of like music programs all through elementary, but my first like real show was in seventh grade. Um, we did a, a festival of one acts and I was in one called Check Please. It was about a series of first dates. It was, it's a key script. One of my favorite things that I've ever done in theater was a show called Peter and Wendy that we did um, last spring. Um, it was a Campus Players production, which is a organization here on campus that is completely student-run. Um, so the show is student-directed, and um, all of the the tech and the acting was done by students. And so that was really cool to get to experience. I played Smee, um, and so that was really fun to get to do uh, a comedic character, which I hadn't gotten the chance to do in a while, um, as well as playing a, a iconic and, and beloved beloved character likes me, so that was fun. Um, theater heavily influences my worldview. It has been a part of who I am since I was born. It's influenced the way that my parents lived and thus the way that I grew up. Um, my parents took me to see shows. All of my life I've been watching theater. And so I have those stories and those concepts in my head and in my life, and I always have. Um, so I don't really know what or who I would be without theater. Uh, so it's kind of hard to tell exactly how it influences me because it's so intrinsic to who I am. Um, but I see the world in a very creative way, in a very story-oriented way, and I think that that is, is heavily influenced by my love of theater. So I'm planning on teaching high school theater once I graduate from Harding. Um, that's the goal, and so theater is and it has always been very important to me, but I want to be in a place where I can prove that it's important to others um, in situations that, that they may not appreciate it without a little bit of guiding, a little bit of influence. Um, I think that theater is a very honest art form and it um, aims to capture ideas that are hard to swallow sometimes and it doesn't shy away from that. And I think that's really important. Um, especially for my future students who may or may not have the best life um, and the best experience with, with school or with um, other people. There are stories that we can tell in theater that um, in a safe way kind of distance from reality but still uh, is, a, is a venue, is a, not venue, is an avenue to um, teach them about how the world works and how how other people view things and to um, help them experience things outside of themselves. People who have never done theater are scared of it, um, or at least scared of doing it, and I think that that is something that I will fight the rest of my life. Um, some people think that they're too cool, too cool to do theater, um, and that is only true if they continue to believe it to be true. Um, theater is Theater feels ridiculous when you're doing it, um, especially if you're not practiced at it, and it's designed that way. Um, you are doing something outside of yourself and that feels weird and uncomfortable, and that is okay and totally normal. Um, I had people that were in the Springsteen show that I directed who talked to me after the fact about how they were so thankful for, for the way that we handled the rehearsal process and how um, encouraging we were for them to just to just do it. And I think that's something that's really important about theater is you, there's no time to second guess yourself. There's no time to hesitate. There's no time to act cool because the the best actors, the best performers, the best people on stage are the ones who forget what they're quote supposed to look like on stage and they just act out of instinct and act out of what they've rehearsed. Um, and I believe that everyone is capable of creativity um, 
and theater has so many different avenues of creativity that can be accessed and can be utilized. Um, if you're good working with your hands, then you can help build sets. Um, if you have an eye for color, you can do lights or scenic artistry or costumes. If you can sew, you can do costumes. If you can sing, then, then there are musicals for that. And if you can't, you don't have to. There are, there are straight plays in which you can, you know, just say words. Um, if you're bad at memorizing, there are silent plays. You don't have to talk all the time. There is a way for every person to do theater. And I believe that and will operate the rest of my life on that belief.